Good morning. We're going to get exactly how you record a podcast right here in the trailer. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up this guitar pick looking icon right here. It's called Reaper. This is the software that we'll be using to record everything. You can click this first section right here, hold down shift on the keyboard, click on this last section that will select everything inside here and then press delete. Alternatively, you can hit, uh, you can right click and press remove items. I prefer using the keyboard for everything. So most of what I'll reference will be on the keyboard. Now, everything that we need to do is right here already laid out for you. We've pretty much uh, created a template that will work exactly for you, but it's actually pretty catered towards uh, musicians and, and vocalists that are recording to uh, to an instrumental. So you'll notice a few things here that um, will work for podcasters, but we are going to need to adjust a couple things. So first off, let's open up this effects panel on the main vocals where we just deleted uh, the instructions um, that were here on the track. So you don't need Saturn. You could feel free to right click and remove the selected effects. Alternatively, you could hit delete on the keyboard. Uh, the compression, we're going to mess with kind of towards the end. But for the most part, you can know that a general range would be just straight up. This would work for most podcasters. Uh, compression changes a lot depending on the tone of your voice, um, how loud you speak, how far away you are from the microphone, et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to just put a straight up right here, this ratio knob straight up, at least for now, but it will be something that we adjust more in the future. You're going to go to this Pro G uh, plugin, and you're actually going to turn this all the way down. Again, you might adjust this more in the future. We're not going to cover it super in depth here, but we are just going to turn it down um, to basically allow any vocal that you record to uh, to actually get played and to get through. Uh, a gate cuts off audio if it doesn't meet this threshold that is set. Now that those two things are set up, we don't really need to do anything else before we get recording. I will just say this one note that obviously anything that deals with adjusting these things are only going to be if you are attempting to mix and master this yourself. Those two adjustments are made right off the bat to ensure that while you're recording, you're getting a good quality and that it sounds similar to, you know, to what the final product will be like and, and it sounds um, you know, good while you're recording it. But in all honesty, if you are having us mix and master it and bringing it up to professional standards as ter in terms of quality and gain and volume um, and, and cleanliness, then you won't need to do any other adjustments beyond that. Although, if you are attempting to do this yourself, I will show you, show you a little bit more about those two things and a couple other things uh, towards the end of this video. But we're trying to move quickly, so let's move on. In order to record, you're going to arm the track that you want to record. We're going to arm this main vocals track and disarm this vocals to track because we only really need one track for us as podcasting. Um, when we're podcasting and then maybe two tracks if we are recording somebody else, but we'll get into details about how to do that later. So recording ourselves, we have this main vocals armed. You'll notice that when it's armed, we see that this volume meter appears and that's exactly how we know that it's actually working. I'm speaking into the microphone. It is going up and down with my vocals as I speak. See? Okay. So we know that we're good to go. If you don't see that meter going up and down, or you maybe notice that the volume is extremely quiet down here at the at maybe, you know, negative 54, negative 42 decibels, you may be using the wrong microphone and you might want to go uh, tap on some microphones and make sure that the right microphone is mapped. Um, and, and if you're using the microphone that was shown by you, uh, by the by the engineer that helps set you up, it's possible that this input may be mapped to the wrong input. And you just need to follow the cable on the microphone and see uh, where it leads and what number it's plugged into. Now, it is very, very, very unlikely for that to happen. Uh, here in the studio, nothing ever really gets uh, unplugged or plugged uh, by artists. But it's very, it's possible, although unlikely, that that may be the case. Um, what you might also consider doing is just looking at the audio interface and seeing if input 4 or channel 4 
uh, the gain knob, which again should be shown to you by the engineer who is helping to set you up, uh, that it is turned up uh, and is uh, facing facing the number. In other words, if it's channel four, that it is turned up to um, about a quarter of the way, which is where the numbers uh, are, are printed. Uh, that's a little bit confusing without being able to visually show you. If you're having any problems, again, feel free to reach out to us at any time. Moving forward with actually recording, at this point we are ready to record. You can record by either on the keyboard doing uh, pressing Control and R at the same time, Control and R, or pressing this big red button, uh, which also tells you, you know, Control plus R uh, is record. So here we go. I'm just going to hit on the keyboard, Control R. Here we go. I am recording a podcast. This podcast is about life and sciences that have to do with life. And I'm not very good at making things up on the spot. But here on this podcast, we will dive deep into the way that things live and the science by which things live by. Yes. <laughs> so <clears throat> with that uh, recording that we just took, let's just say that, you know, I said at the very end and I want to cut that out. So I'm just going to click and drag that away. Look, it's not there anymore. Bye. Not there. And um, at the very beginning, I see a little waveform here. I don't want that, so I'm going to cut that out as well. Now I have this very clean cut. Here we go. I am recording a podcast. This podcast is about life and sciences that have to do with life. And I'm not very good at making things up on the spot, but... Anywho, um, that's like maxing out my speakers a little bit. I got to turn that down. It uh, heard some crackling. Okay, so we're going to click and drag this to start from the very beginning. You don't have to do that. Uh, you could have it start however long you want in, although most podcasts should probably not start you know, any further than pretty much the beginning. Um, a really quick tip is that as you are clicking around, W on the keyboard sends you to the beginning, no matter where you're clicked at. So you can always be recording from the beginning by pressing W. Now, that's all you really need to know how to record and how to split or, or cut the ends and the beginnings. If you are to split something in the middle, let's just say that this word right here I want to cut out. But, but. I'm going to cut out the word but. And so I'm going to scroll down here um, just by you know coming over here to the track and uh, to the tracks and using the mouse wheel to scroll down and just to give myself some room to see better I'm going to drag this track as large as I can when you're editing uh, each particular track this will probably be what you're doing um, and you'll probably just stay in this view while you're editing for some time this allows you to see when you zoom in the very particular and minor waveforms so that you're not cutting out anything that might make this sound unnatural. But, but. There's just like some breathing and some air, and those things actually add to the naturalness of what you're doing here on this podcast. So we're going to go into where there's, you know, there is nothing here. And if there is anything there, it is so inaudible that it's not going to, it's not going to be noticed um, when we make a cut. So, you know, you don't want to cut here because there is a little bit of, of audible noise. Same with here. We're going to cut right here. Or, you know, potentially if you wanted to cut out some of this, um, some of these things here, you might cut right here uh, or maybe right here. Just anywhere where it will sound natural. And you can obviously play back. It looks like this waveform is a breath. And you know what? Let's cut out that breath. So I'm going to cut right here. I'm going to press S. S for split to split these two tracks. And then same thing, I'm going to come over here. here on. And I'm going to cut here where there's you know nothing but empty space. I'm going to press S to split. Now I have this, this, and this, and I am cutting out the butt. And if I drag this over, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This doesn't really need to be lined up. I mean, if these are crossing over, it's not going to sound weird. Uh, because these are, it is a silent part on both ends, but just, just to minimize the risk. Not very good at making things up on the spot. Here on this podcast. 
obviously my tone of voice changed a lot and that's really the only thing that is obvious other than that you wouldn't know that there's a cut made because we cut cleanly I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna quickly save it this is something you should always do anytime that you make a change that you want to keep I suggest saving as often as possible so in order to save I'm gonna do control and s on the keyboard alternatively you could go to file and save project we will go to audiobook narrators your name title this what you'd like this will be llamas pajamas taste like what rhymes with pajamas and llamas pajamas llamas taste like the bahamas and we have this automatically set up to make a new folder and we'll place all of the recorded files into that folder so everything stays nice and neat when you just press save boom all right that's pretty much everything you need to know if you are recording yourself um, as far as recording goes we haven't gotten quite into exporting yet let's cover really quick if you have a guest speaker if your guest speaker is here in the studio you will need to set them up with their own microphone you would go here to the second track. You might put in guest speaker. Um, actually, to make things easier on you, you'd probably delete these two tracks because they're set up more for vocals. You would control C on this. So once you've highlighted this track, press control C on the keyboard and then control V and it will duplicate this whole thing. And we're going to change the input from the input four that we are using with this microphone to input one. The engineer will show you how to do everything physically as far as setting up the microphone for your guest vocalist. But now if we record, uh, you'll notice here if I press record that my microphone is being picked up as it is in front of my face. The microphone on input one is not picking up the vocals that I am vocaling because it is not in front of my face. It will be in front of my guest speaker's face and we'll be able to edit the two separately, which will give us a much cleaner sound. Um, and that's all you really need to do. You might name this guest speaker. You might put in their name. Um, if I'm interviewing Mr. Llama, then that might be what I put. And <clears throat> everything as far as the recording would all be the same because you copied from this track the settings are going to be fairly optimized for what you're doing in a podcast situation now for uh of course saving is control s but for exporting saving this as an mp3 you should not do this if you are letting us mix and master you can if you just want to have the raw files for you to play with but they're not going to sound too great but if you are not paying for us to mix and master for you and you are attempting to do this on your own, then this um, will be exactly what you do. You will first open up the effects button on the master track here on the mixer. You will double click on this empty box. You will click Fab Filter Pro L to open up the Fab Filter limiter. At the same time that this is open, you will open the effects of the main vocals. This is where we have to optimize the compression with the limiter. We're going to press W to send this back to the beginning so that we can watch. And we're going to actually loop our vocals here by dragging and creating a selection on the timeline, clicking the loop or toggle repeat button and we will press play. I'm going to turn down the speakers. And what we'll be looking for here is specifically that um, we can, what, well, I guess let me briefly outline what we're doing. What we're doing right now is bringing this up to 
quality, professional standards of quality and professional standards of volume at the same time. Quality of voice and consistency of voice as well as uh, professional standard volume. This will be the volume, essentially. It's a little more complicated than that, but that's the basics. Is We're 